Hola, Henry. Uy. Fico. Debería estar feliz o triste. Ambas. Love the way that they set it up and how it uh, kind of came back full circle at the end with um, the main character kind of speaking to the camera and, and, and talking about his story. Um, it was intense and it was funny. I thought it was really, really well written. And I also appreciated the um, the transitions, uh, which was between like the gunshots and it would, you know, it transitioned us into a, a different storyline and then again another gunshot and it brings us back to the action um yeah it was it was really fun to watch and I thought that the main character was like he did such a great job he was so dynamic and had so many layers to him and he was interesting and and still had that humor um amongst obviously guns and violence and alcohol and all of that. Um, I also really loved um, the close-up kind of beauty shots uh, while the credits were rolling of the the whiskey and the guns and all of that. I thought it was a really nice touch to end it on. Loved the action. Loved the action and I also loved the comedy. I could see this getting expanded and the reason I say that is because there's the ending which left me asking and wanting more. <laughs> Uh, I would have loved to have learned um, how he managed to get his revenge from his friends who thought they'd killed him and then he ends up killing them. I also would have loved to have learned the before of what led him to this point. Um, all that being said, I, I loved it and I wish there was more of it. <laughs> Classic gangster story that picks up like right in the middle where the action takes place where they're kidnapping each other and, and shooting each other and killing each other and, and getting revenge. Um, and, and you do a great job of framing those scenes without a lot of context to them. Um, you know, the audience doesn't really know why these events are happening um, or, you know, the background between um, these men who are shooting each other, pretending to be killed, the betrayal, all of that. You, you build up the pacing of that really well and, um, and make it interesting to watch. Pacing was good and, uh, the special effects, um, of, you know, gunfire, sh shots, being shot, um, was all really well done. Right off the bat, I noticed the lighting and the coloring were really well done. Um, coloring meaning, I guess, the use of the colors in the scene. Uh, I really liked the cinematography. I thought it looked really, really great right off the bat. Um, and also the nice musical score uh, really worked to give this tone, this film, a really good tone and suspense. Um, I really wasn't, you know, it kept you guessing and who are these people and what went on behind the scenes here to get to this point in the story and who's he talking to at the table. At first, you, I, I really just thought he was talking to the audience, kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Um, so it was kind of neat to see it come around and see that he was talking to whoever sent them his way, I think. Um, I thought it was a really neat uh, way to present, you know, this part of the story. I really thought the action was great. I, it kept kept things moving along. The pace was good. I liked the locations and the junkyard um, was really neat. Uh, the, the camera work was good, the editing, um, everything was good. The actors were good and the writing and all of that. So I just want to see more. This is a uh, quite an interesting story and premise. Um, I like the unassuming scenario uh, on this junkyard. Uh, they have good, it's like a good, good movie with action and this tragic background story and the likeliness of things getting down, downside 
when you're involved in this type of environments, it's just very well scripted. Very entertaining. I found it, you know, very compelling, uh, very tense. Uh, the characters are very good, especially that sidekick who was like laughing with the protagonist, even though he shouldn't have been. That was a funny moment. Um, yeah, uh, the everything was pretty solid.